Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shadongs to Warm Bob Bell for Theme Park News and today we're going to be taking a look at my summer, spring, summer slash 2021 predictions. Now this is for Cedar Fair, Six Flags and Melon Entertainment. So these videos will be stretched across uh, the next week so they could come all at once like I did with the early predictions. Uh, they could come across uh, in different days. Uh, or ju just at some point throughout this whole week you're going to see three videos. Now someone did suggest doing SeaWorld as well uh, with SeaWorld and the Busch Gardens parks. I will do that uh, next season. It, obviously I can't start now because I should have done the early predictions for it but now we're in our uh, spring predictions, spring summer predictions. Um, it's better starting it next season because I, you know, we'd have no idea, you know, what the SeaWorld and Busch Gardens parks are going to be doing uh, for 2022. Uh, so I'm going to start those then. So I can't remember your name, but whoever comments it, I will shout you out in that video uh, next season. Uh, however, let's start off with our Six Flags predictions, our spring summer predictions for 2021 for the Six Flags theme parks. Now, obviously, first of all, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question. Uh, and that is for our subscriber Q&A. Celebrate 2,000 subs when we get there. Uh, and also, as a bit of a disclaimer for this video, um, with these predictions, some of them aren't... Uh, well, all of them are new attractions. They're not delays in 2020 attractions. But I will mention for uh, certain parks which ones I think could be delayed attractions. So it's one prediction or the other, really, with those parks. So... The 2020 attractions that could be delayed are in this prediction video. However, they're not, you know, written down as my predictions. But I'm going to mention at the end of each park which ones I think could be delayed additions. So let's start off then with our first Six Flags theme park. So kicking off with Six Flags Darien Lake. Now in the last video, prediction video, I predicted the Beaver Brothers Bay and Rowdy Ridge Area re-theme to Bugs Bunny Boomtown or DC Super Friends or a raptor coaster replacing shipwreck falls now in my personal opinion my prediction here one of them is staying and that is Bre beaver brothers bay or beavers brothers bay and rowdy's ridge rethemed to dc super friends or i could also see a flat ride now we could see a giant discovery i think that'll be a nice fit for the park uh, however there is a possibility that wahoo wave could be delayed from 2020 it's hard to predict which attractions could be delayed from 2020 because of the fact that obviously the pandemic would mean it makes sense however uh with the american park starting to open up again in stages um it could be very very difficult to see which attractions are going to be delayed and which ones you know aren't but i think darien lakes could be delayed i think that could be an extra addition to uh the 2021 so Moving in then to Frontier City, uh, now my first prediction for this was a Zampella Disco or a Giant or Giga Discovery flat ride replacing the Thunder Road Raceway go-karts. I'm going to stick with those predictions, I think a Disco Coaster would be a lovely fit for the park, or a Giant slash Giga Discovery, and I think that 2022 could be Frontier City's year, and I'll talk about that um, you know, in our next predictions video uh, next season, so stay tuned for next season. Um, moving into Great Escape. Uh, 2021, I predicted Tsunami Surge Water Coaster. That is what I'm going with again. I'm going to go with the Tsunami Surge. Um, you'll, or Python's Plunge as you look at the uh, broader range of Hurricane Harbor water slides. Or Tidal Wave, of course. That's the new water slide at one of the recently acquired Hurricane Harbors. Uh, so what like, we're looking at that type of water coaster here. But I'm going on the basis of Tsunami Surge. I could see that coaster going in. Uh, maybe not the same location as what I predicted in the first video. I'm not going to speak specifically about locations, just about specific types of rides and not locations. Um, but I think that a Tsunami Surge would be a great fit for the water park. I think it would be a great fit for the park. Uh, and I think, again, like Frontier City, I think Great Escape will have a bigger year the following season. Moving in then to La Ronde, and my first prediction was a super air race near Boomerang on that flat ride site where that claw ride is. Now, of course, I didn't mention it in that video, but I mentioned removing that swinging claw ride because of the fact that La Ronde already had a, a discovery attraction called Titan. Uh, so I think that having two swinging Frisbee rides is very Six Flags, but, you know, well, Frisbee, claw, swinging rides type thing. Um, very Six Flags, but I wouldn't recommend it. So I would replace that ride with a Super Air Race. I'm going to change that prediction. And for 2021, my prediction for this would be um, 
either VPair delayed until 2021, so that would reopen again, uh, or if they do manage to get VPair ready for the end of the 2020 season, I think in terms of a new attraction, we could see a skyscraper come to the park. Now, if you've got no idea what that is, look at Catwoman's Whip that's set to be coming to Six Flags St. Louis this year, and also at The Great Escape, you've got Adirondack, Adirondack Outlaw, which is just renamed Outlaw, apparently. So, um, But I, I still call it by its long name, Adirondack Outlaw. So look at those two attractions. I think one of them would suit Laron very, very well. You know, they could give it a really intimidating name as well. Um, you know, Spin Sanity or Craze and Craze Sanity. That would be a perfect name for a skyscraper attraction. Uh, <laughs> just a matter of time, Frisbees. Just a matter of time. Uh, Six Flags America. Now, in my first prediction video about this, I said a Zampella Endeavor themed to Martian Manhunter next to the Batwing coaster. My prediction is staying like that, and I'm also adding a second possibility, and that, my friends, is Tsunami Surge slash Python's Plunge type water coaster in Hurricane Harbor. And America's needed a water park addition for a good number of years, so I think that the water park is the next to get upgraded. So I think that a Tsunami Surge would be a great addition to the to the water park, uh, but I still would like to see an Endeavor instead, or as well as it could be as well as it could be instead. Um, and I'll speak about at the end of the video, by the way, where, I th where I'm predicting loads of these new attractions rather than just delayed 2020 attractions. Uh, and I'll speak about that at the end before you guys go commenting. Watch the whole video before you comment down below. Uh, but yes, I think that Zampella Endeavor, I'm going to keep that prediction. Possibly the Martian Manhunter theme. Maybe go with a Batman enemy. Maybe go with Poison Ivy. And, you know, they could use that same name again. Poison Ivy Toxic Twister, which is being used for Over George's Flat Ride uh, for this year. Uh, as one of the two. And, um, yeah, I think Poison Ivy Toxic Twister or Martian Manhunter Astro Astro Orbit or something like that. Yeah, I'm not very good on the spot with names. Uh, but, like, a Zampella Endeavor themed DC near Batwing would be great. Or a Tsunami Surge Python's Punch Water Coaster type thing. Uh, or, or and I spoke about this in a uh, recent video in a few weeks ago, uh, or a couple of weeks ago. Um, I think we could see something massive uh, in the Whistle Stop Park section or replacing the Whistle Stop Park. Now, of course, they do have the whole kids areas uh, already. They've already got kids areas. So I think the Whistle Stop Park being removed would be a nice one. And maybe they could go along with a, a roller coaster of some kind. If it was to be a coaster, I'd go with a Max Force type launch coaster, maybe. Uh, and I say that because if you haven't watched that video, I'd recommend you go and check it out. But I did do a video about how some electrical work was taking place uh, around the Whistle Stop Park session, uh, section in between that and Joker's Jinx. Uh, so I think that uh, a Max Force style launch coaster themed to DC would replace that part of the park very very well and it would fi fix in with the joker's jinx area so you know they've already got a harley quinn spin sanity they've got joker's jinx again maybe they go with uh, a dc villain if it was to be a coaster so uh, i would go with zampella endeavor tsunami surge or a coaster it's, it's it's between those three but i think if we see over the next month or two more teasing about a 2021 edition that could be massive and it could be bigger than we thought uh then we could go on the coaster route here but i'm keeping my options open with america even though i did the video on the electrical work i'm going to keep my options you know open for this part moving in then to discovery kingdom now i first predicted a zampella endeavor or a drop tower located on the side of the penguin a comment in the earlier video pointed out that the go-kart site is where batman the ride the free spin what is so uh, i would just use the penguin site for an attraction i think this is the one park I definitely can't see any other prediction for than the delayed Sidewinder Safari. Now, this park's been getting a lot of attention. Uh, so, I think they're going to delay Sidewinder Safari. I think that will open in 2021. If that doesn't be the case, I think instead of a flat ride in the park, I think they could do something to the water park. Now, what specifically, I'm not quite sure. However... You know, it's not out of their budget to do something nice like a water coaster or uh, some kind of multi-complex family area uh, in the water park. So, something to do with the water park, maybe. Or, you know, this flat ride or this delayed Taiwan Safari. I think the flat ride maybe not as much now. I'm going to go off that prediction a bit and sort of stay away from that prediction. And I'm thinking more along the lines of... Uh, a water coaster or water family area in the water park or potentially they could go along the lines of uh, the delaying Sidewinder Safari option. 
Moving in then to Fiesta, Texas. Now, I predict the water coaster in Hurricane Harbor next to Paradise Plunge. And now, instead, I'm going to go with the Zamperla Endeavor. I think this is the part to get it. Uh, now... In terms of the theme of the ride, I'm not entirely sure. Again, location as well. I'm not entirely sure where, the, where in this the part would go. Um, but I think that Zamperla and Devil would be a great fit, especially since Fiesta Texas. You know, they're going to open the, the Daredevil Dive Flying Machine when the Texas parks start getting back up towards the end of 2020. Uh, so I think that uh, Daredevil, Dives, Devil, Daredevil Dive Flying Machines will be back open. Uh, and I think that uh, it'll open with the rest of the park. And I think that... We could be seeing maybe like a grand reopening ceremony in 2021, but I think that's all. I think they'll soft open the ride in 2020, and they'll have a new attraction prepared for 2021. Again, I'll say it at the end of the video, after all the parks, you know, why I think I'm predicting these new attractions instead of more delayed attractions from this year. Uh, moving in then to Great Adventure, of course they're getting Jersey Devil this year. That's probably going to open uh, when the park's set to open again. Uh, my first prediction for this was a skyscraper attraction or a Zampola Air Race, uh, replacing the Dead Double Dive Sky Coaster and the Great American Road Race. Uh, now, my prediction for this is a Super Air Race, not in terms of location specifically, but I think anywhere in the park it could do. Or, I think they're going to go on the kids option. They're going to retheme Bugs Bunny National Park into Bugs Bunny Boomtown. Now... Bugs Bunny National Park, correct me if I'm wrong, has not had a new attraction in that area since 2006. So I think it's well overdue the area gets some, some kind of a new lease of life to bring the modern day Bugs Bunny into the atmosphere. And a Bugs Bunny Boomtown upgrade would be the best fit. Uh, and maybe bringing a couple of family rides. Maybe um, like bringing a couple of kids rides just to spruce the area up a bit. Uh, so I think that would be the best way forward. If not, a super air race, again, wouldn't be the baddest idea. And knowing Six Flags, it would be the world's tallest of its kind. And I think we're going to see more of these super air races pop up. So look out in future years for these prediction videos. So you may see some more air races popping up in my predictions. Moving in then to Great America, and I predicted, first of all, a Sky Screamer ride located in the former go-kart site. I did say something about that. Or a DC Super Friends slash Bugs Bunny Boomtown replacing Kidzopolis or Camp Cartoon. Now, somebody else commented on that video about Camp Cartoon over Kidzopolis, and I'm starting to think, you know what, he is right. So, my prediction is either they could go along the flat ride route, and I'm not going to predict Sky Screamer, I'm going to go with a Zamperla Endeavor, again, one of those good family thrill rides, or, and I think this is the most likely option, I think they're going to retheme Camp Cartoon and the surrounding Yukon territory into DC Super Friends. Now, Camp Cartoon, that's very easy to remake. They can put up some family rides in there, uh, retheme some stuff already in the area. And then when I say the existing Yukon territory possibly as well, that's the, the Little Dipper, Logger's Run, uh, retheme. Um, the I think they've got the Yukon train, I think it is as well. There's three attractions in the Yukon territory. There's one other attraction. There's the Little Dipper Coaster, and then there's the Loggers Run. So I think if you theme those up as well, I think you've got an even bigger DC Super Friends. But I think if they want to leave that alone, I know I've watched some prediction videos about you know future removals for Great America, and some people maybe think Loggers Run could be on the way out for a new coaster in the few in the long term future. Um, you know, I think that could be a good opportunity for a new coast of space, but I think if Yukon Territory won't be used in this, I think they'll just stick to Camp Cartoon and just retheme that whole area, because Camp Cartoon technically is a sub-category area of Yukon Territory, so it's kind of like a sub-area kind of thing. Uh, so, you know, they could film, uh, f fill the whole area and retheme it all, or just retheme the Camp Cartoon section, and for it to become its own area, rather than a sub-area of Yukon Territory. Uh, moving in then to Magic Mountain, again this is very very easy, uh, I predicted a dive, a raptor or a tilt coaster replacing Tidal Wave and Green Lantern First Flight, of course that First Flight coaster is now at La Ronde as Vipair. Uh, 2021 prediction, RMC Single Rail Coaster, it's definitely going to happen. A Jersey Devil clone or a similar layout to Jersey Devil in terms of length and height and possibly some of the uh, most of the elements as well. So I think, if anything, it'll either be a clone of Jersey Devil exactly or they may switch a couple of elements around to make it a little bit different and still a custom layout. Uh, in those sites, Tidal Wave and, you know, Green Lantern First Flight. 
in terms of themes, I've said it in the past, I'm thinking Martian Manhunter or the Joker. Uh, so they could go along the lines of uh, Martian Manhunter Astro Coaster, knowing Six Flags with their branding and their names. Uh, but I think Martian Manhunter Astro Coaster would not be a bad name. If they go along the Joker theme, you've got many different options. You've just got the Joker, or you could go with more uh, advanced options with the Joker Chaos Coaster, or the Joker... Uh, laugh track. I know someone did a, a No Limits concept and I think the the logo on the thumbnail of the video uh, of this guy was the logo for the, the Joker laugh track and I thought you know what that's a pretty neat name uh, so I think the Joker laugh track could be a good name choice but also the Joker Chaos Coaster and just the Joker go along the, the great adventure route with their free spin uh, and not out of the question yet as well. So I think the Joker or Martian Manhunter are the potential themes. Even though the Tilt Coaster was a leak, I think that Martian Manhunter would still be a great theme for the coaster. But Magic Mountain is one of the parts getting a coaster, in my opinion, guaranteed. Moving in then to Mexico, and I predicted a new ride on the Go-Karts Teen Titans site. I'm thinking a new ride, but now I'm thinking specifically about this compared to the previous video. And I'm thinking a Zamperla Endeavor. This is one of the parts to get it, in my opinion. Um... Again, they could go along with specific themes. They could go with the fireball theme they use for the super loops. Uh, I think that theme was actually not bad. Uh, they can transfer that across to the endeavors. Uh, they could use some other themes as well. Titan, they could go along with that. Uh, they could go along with some other names. There's, there's plenty of other names as well. Uh, Crazy Sanity, again, or Spin Sanity, that would be good as well. Uh, if it's not you know, DC related. Um... Moving in then to New England, and I think this is one of the parts getting a coaster in the future, but not 2021. Uh, but when I say coaster, I mean dry coaster. Now, in the last video, I predicted the Tsunami Surge water coaster, uh, replacing that old Typhoon water coaster. I think we're going to see Tsunami Surge, or we could see one of those skyscraper attractions. Again, Adirondack Outlaw, uh, Catwoman's Whip at St. Louis, one of those attractions. Uh, so, again, very, very easy to predict that one. Moving into Over Georgia, and Over Georgia, again, a very interesting one to predict. Now, I first predicted a new ride or coaster replacing Gold Town Racers or Splash Water Falls. That was the image on the screen and not Gold Town Racers. Um, I don't think we're going to go with any of those. I'm going to change that prediction entirely. It's one of the only parks I'm changing my prediction entirely. Uh, and I'm going to go with something for the water park, because they haven't really added anything to the water park since it first opened in 2014. So I'm going to see either a Wahoo Wave slash Typhoon Twister. So one of those two names, Typhoon Twister or Wahoo Wave. Uh, because you've got to think, their sister park in Atlanta, Six Flags Whitewater, they already have a Mat Racer, they have Dive Bomber, which is your Skybox drop slide. Uh, they've got many other tube slides and family areas and pools, etc. So I think that a Typhoon Twister like they had at St. Louis a few years ago. Look at the Wahoo Wave that's set to be coming to Darien Lake this year. That would be a nice fit with the wall. I think that's a nice fit for Over Georgia. It is the smallest of the Hurricane Harbors with, in terms of how many stuff they've got in it. Uh, however, I think that a fifth addition to this Hurricane Harbor would be nice. And again, it would be nice to see something added to Hurricane Harbor for the first time since the park opened. Moving into over Texas, then my prediction was overall park events and celebrations for 60 years of operation. And that is what I'm sticking with. I think they're going to do some shows, some celebrations, just to bring in the 6th anniversary of the theme park. In terms of attractions, they may want to do a family ride, or they may want to do a, like a package of attractions, like what Over George is doing this year with the DC stuff uh, in the new era of Gotham City. Uh, with the Catwoman Whip and the Poison Ivy Toxic Twister, which is a classic scrambler flat ride. Uh, maybe over Texas does a Great America that they did a few years ago when they celebrated their 40 Seasons of Thrills uh, back in 2015. I think they could bring back a couple of old rides from the past and bring them back into the park for... Uh, with, with a new lease of life, uh, maybe not complete retheme, but bring them back, you know, with a paint up and like use the modern technology to re evaporate these rides. I'm not sure which ones though. I think it'd be probably stick to the family rides, bring bring back two or three family rides, and then do some shows and parades as well, just to bring in the 60th anniversary of Over to Access. Finally, then Six Flags St. Louis, and in 2021, I predicted a Raptor coaster on the former site of Tidal Wave, and I'm sticking with that prediction. I'm going to stick with a Raptor Coaster, a clone of Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster or Railblazer at the rival California's Great America and the rival Cedar Fair chain uh, on the former site of the Tidal Wave. So there we go. That is my predictions for this, my summer 2021 predictions. It's a bit different this year than last year because we're doing summer 2021 predictions rather than spring. 
Uh, so it's very nice to do something very, very different, quite different. Uh, so thank you very much, guys. Uh, like, now, like I said before, I was going to say why I think some new attractions are coming rather than delayed 2020 ones. I did mention a few parts like Discovery Kingdom uh, and Darien Lake with the Wahoo Wave and, of course, you know, Sidewind Safari. And I was, you know, wondering if they were going to be delayed or not. And there's possible they will. But there's a reason why I didn't mention as many delayed attractions as I probably thought I would do. And that is because 2021 plans would have already been decided by this case. I think, you know, these attractions, even the smaller ones, go, you know, months in advance. So before this pandemic, the 2021 attractions would have been either, even, well, either bought or planned. So it's up to Six Flags what they do from that point on. Do they delay them by a year or do they go with them in that year straight away? So that's why you're not hearing as many delayed 2020 attractions. And that's why I told you guys to watch the entire video before you comment anything. Um, because I think that personally, we are looking at newer, more new attractions rather than delayed 2020 attractions. Obviously with the likes of West Coast Racers, that's already open. So you can't really delay that another year. Jersey Devil, that's going to open in my opinion. Um, you look at some of the other attractions as well, I think they're going to open. It's some of the stuff that hasn't really been constructed yet. Things like Sidewinder Safari, the water coasters and Darien Lake and things like that. It would allow Frontier City to get a new attraction for 2021 and fill in that year. Um, so I think it's inevitable in my opinion that we get a new attraction at these parks for 2021. Because they would have pre-planned it in my opinion. So... Uh, there you go. So thank you very much guys for watching this video. Make sure you stay tuned throughout the week for uh, Well for the next seven days for Cedar Fair and Millen Entertainments, but for now guys Thank you very very much. Please like comment subscribe and for now guys My name is Ghost Shout, Kill in the Ghost Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon. Take care guys. Have an awesome day